Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Toyota Sienna LE. Now the most notable features on this LE is its power sliding rear doors. You also have your heated front seats and backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2014 Toyota Sienna LE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this LE is its daytime running lights. You also have your hood deflector and over on the side you'll see your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirrors and I'll just quickly show you what your second row is going to look like. So as you can see with the second row you have three additional seats, not only that but the middle seat can actually be removed and placed into the rear uh, cargo space. But I'll show you that later on in the video here. In your third and second row windows, you have the sunshade visors just so you can block out some of that sun. And you have the close button just located on the inside here. Now, parents, if you're worried about your kids or possibly yourself getting your hand or arm jammed to the door, you don't have to worry about that because it does have the jam protection feature. So in the event that the door does sense there's an obstruction in the way, it'll open itself back up automatically. And if you want to close from the outside, just pull on the handle once more and it will close for you automatically. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is gray. And to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your light gray cloth into your seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls along with your traction control on and off. Window locks, power locks, and window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see on the steering wheel include your volume control, mode select, seek function, Bluetooth, voice recognition, and your cruise control. Now, if we take a look just at the multi-informational, or I should say the odometer reading, you'll just see it just on the left-hand side there. And taking a look at the top, you'll see a couple of different controls up here, which include your exterior temperature gauge as well as a digital clock. You have your temperature control settings located up there as well. When you hit the in or setup menu, sorry, it'll just be located just down below here where your dual zone uh, climate controls are located with your rear temperature controls. And with that, when you hit the setup menu, you're going to be able to go through a couple of different options through there. So as you can see, you have your display clock, door, keyless entry, and a couple of other additional features. Now, you do have your AM, FM, as well as your CD player, along with your XM satellite radio on here. Underneath, you'll see your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. Your USB and auxiliary input will be located down below with your power outlet. And if we take a look just at the top here, you're going to find your open and close for your power sliding rear doors, sunglass case holder, and I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines, or I should say that nice rear view of the vehicle, making things much easier for you when you want to back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, located on the back of your tailgate, you'll see your backup camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Sienna emblem. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, you do have a 60-40 split for your rear seat, so in the event that you need the additional space that's available to you, over on the left-hand side, this is where you'll actually store that sec or middle seat sorry, from your second row, just in case you're not using it. And you have plenty of space just located down below here, just in case you are using the third row. Now, to actually fold or unfold uh, the seats, the instructions are just located on the back of the seat there, so if you do find yourself in need, or you just can't remember how they fold or unfold, the instructions are located on the back of the seat for you. And you'll have that power outlet just located over on your right hand side. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.